Ladies and gentlemen, this is Convo with the Head. My name is Kojo Sheldon. The Head is big for a reason. Now, um, when you come through the comment section, this is an interview people have been asking for. And you know, say me, I know they disappoint. So uh, I'll put one or two things together where I'll make it happen because there's no way uh, your man will come back to the country where you know, go pass here and then come, you know, make we have conversation because a lot have happened and we need to talk about it. But yes, I'm sure people are getting the person I'm going to introduce or talking about now uh 2020 uh rapper of the year yes in case you people have forgotten and he's still rapping uh bet award nominee uh for the other awards i don't have to i mean talk about it because you people know now ladies and gentlemen he's been away for some time now but then he's been releasing a um, couple of projects out there people have been consuming there has been a lot of conversation about him in the news feed today he's he's in the studio here with me to come have conversation i have one of ghana's finest in the studio in case once again you people have forgotten kusiata is here with me in the studio boss man welcome no no thank everything you. cool everything bless Charlie. good to be here yeah. everything cool Every, everything bless. everything set for yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, welcome, welcome. Thank you, cases. thank you, Charlie. Uh, why? I think you know the jaw, sir. Charlie, Charlie. Tell me how to see around all the way through. Charlie, you know be so, you know be so. You know that thing we say that why could they do? Mm -hmm. You know, like only me cast out na baby for a call. Okay. They bab in paying for so to for a call now to what they so. Okay. So I had to just you know move around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, go work. Um, I just dropped a new project. Yeah. And most of the songs on the project, it be. My so called my travels, we okay. I was able to arrive at that, okay. You know, so you know, all day inside. So, um, are, you, are we talking about environment here? Asking, as, as to asking where you did right now, and you feel like the environment here is not enabled enough for like the kind of creative journey that you are on. So, you have to let's say, you know, move out, you know, base in the UK, base in the US, and get like different, fresh perspective. Um, I wouldn't say the environment here, we it make like it make a bounce, but I would say. Like, I just, I want to explore, mm. you know. Like, I'm someone who they love to travel. Okay. You know, and like now I've been given the opportunity where I be, because of my work, I'll be able to move around anytime I want to, mm. you know. And like, yeah, like, going out there, I was just like, I enjoyed being out there, you okay. know, and like making music, um, just figuring stuff out. Yeah. You know, but then you did come, right? In, yeah. By on the low. Yeah. You were, you just come and you go, yeah. you come and you yeah. go. So but right now there, you just, but you, because you have been in the US for a very long yeah. time now. So it ah uh, bro, like I've been here a couple of times, you know. There we know. There you be say okay. this time around, people for some reason, people just the high pump. I know? see the video for the airport there. Some crofa and crofa fell. Oh yeah. People miss you. But it be say like, yeah, this time around it was hype, but it do how they go all the time. Okay. Did, but this no be the first time we had to go we had to stay for like a while. Okay. You know, but this time around it was publicized. Okay. But yeah, um your back. They see say I, I come back here, you know. How your Some say your term are people on, Oh, it like they are really Great. Because I've seen know? the music video. Yeah, they, they showed crazy, up. crazy, crazy. So you see, they yeah. showed up. Oh, yeah. I know. It's, it's oh, not like what... Day. Yeah. yeah, the lovey day where we forgive the people. Mm. You know, so I for take my time to, you know, give okay. them the best, okay. you know. Yeah, yeah, and like, I'm glad I could, like, me and the team could put this project together okay. and give it to them. I yeah. sent now bow. I swear. Hey, nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling wrong. But anyway, I'll be one person who always they make the conscious effort to ask artists about them and mental health because I feel like it'd be something where we have neglected or re relegated to the background. Now, yeah. you have been through a lot. I don't want to go into details, but you open the news feed, it's this article, it's this video, it's this, it's that, it's someone saying this. And you have to see this thing constantly. See some of these things in your newsfeed. Uh, people moving to you left, right, center on Twitter. How you they feel right now? And how have you been able to navigate and maneuver and make sure, say, Charlie, I go stay sane even though I they go through. I know, say, if I said uh, you they go through my EB, it'd be a bit direct, but yeah. I know what you have been through. And I feel like um, at some point, maybe it will get you intense. How have you been able to maneuver? And I see you now. I, I, I see you say, Charlie, everything they find everything yeah. they go on yeah charlie i just i just they take it a day at a time okay. you know yeah just don't stress about things you can't control okay you didn't feel me yeah and like i feel good i feel good you know like there's a lot of ups and downs you know you yeah. know go be happy all the time mm. you did bob like going through those moments of lows they make you they appreciate moments where like everything be good mm. you didn't feel me and yeah i've been through my 
fair bit of it, mm. you know. Yeah. But yeah, fortunately, I'm still here standing tall. I still did push, you know. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm thankful. Do you, do you sometimes get disappointed at, like, you look at what you have done with regard, why not can I say, buy a hand chair, but I've done enough. Yeah. Then you open your news feed and it's like, ah, Chan Kwasi Asenben. Do you sometimes get disappointed in the whole system? Well, I used to be. Yeah. I used to be disappointed. Mm. But I come to a realization, see, like, a lot of these people who usually say certain things online, mm. like, that is like most of the times not the reality in the streets or in real life. Yeah. You know, because Twitter is not a real world. That's what yeah. you see. Yeah, but I because I run into people mm. and like every time I meet someone, it's it's always like positive. Mm. You know, like yeah. And most people post stuff online just for the reactions of it. Most engagement, of the time, farmers. Know? Yeah, mm. just for the engagements, not thinking about the consequences of what then they do. Then just they want clout, so then they use that. They mm. talk any stupid thing mm. they feel like saying. Mm. The bar. Yeah. So right now, like I'm in a space where I don't really like take it to hearts like that. Okay. No? Now let's talk about this. Is not the tape that uh, Trey. Yeah. Now the idea of putting it behind a paywall. How, where did that come from? And I, I want you to walk me through, like, you know, the back end. What has been, what has been the reception for, for this particular idea that you introduced to? Because a lot of people, you know, came out saying, said they don't understand what, what kind of path that you're trying yeah. to put them on, especially your, fan, your, your fans. Now, you did it, regardless. Yes. And I want you to walk me through the back end. Was it successful? Is it something you're looking at, you know, doing more of, yes. of, often? Oh, it was it was very it was very successful. Um, I would say the first time I announced it, mm. the people who signed up for like <clears throat> the project, the yeah. people who signed up initially, like the platform people were telling me, like that was the biggest you know like pre order they've ever received yeah. since the platform first started operating. Mm. You know, so that they mean say like it's really successful. Okay, and yeah, like though when it came out for people to buy it, like. It was like half that number who subscribed to it initially. Yeah. Like it was still successful because come to Ghana, be some place where people don't people don't even have like cards. Like yeah, yeah, cards Visa cards. Yeah, you know? I mean Momo is like yeah, prevalent. Yeah. yeah, people don't have that. So um, it's something where I'm like. The first experiment has approved it for me. So yeah. I think I'm going to go f move forward doing that again. Okay. You know, so yeah, on my next project, I'm going to do that with it as well. Mm. But yeah, shouts to everyone who purchased the project. I really did okay. appreciate it. Also, I'm of the session that you did this thing to test to see if you have a dedicated core fan yes, base. Yes, exactly. Do exactly. you have it now? Oh, I, I, I've, I've always believed I have that. But now it make us see my fans and like the, my purchasing power too, mm. you know? Cause be like, now, um, the powers that be brainwash me so much they think say, oh, music be free. Yeah. But it, it's never been it free. It has never been free. Yeah. Even Spotify, you they pay for subscription. Yeah. You they buy. Audio mark everywhere. Yeah. Growing up, you they see say then people they sell cassettes, mm. CDs, then things. Me, I buy a CD before. Yeah. I buy some CDs like years back. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah, and it looks like, bro, like these Spotify's and Apple Music, like, it don't really be heavy like that. Yeah. You feel me? So moving forward, I go experiment with these things more as well. What about your fans who are saying that you don't, you do not care about them because, mind you, the album is not available everywhere, yeah. but it had to take some time frame for it to get there. Yes. Now, within that time frame, people who, let's say, don't have the cars to purchase or don't have the money, yeah. how are they supposed to consume Kwesiata music? Because you make music for the streets. Yes. And some of these people, they don't have that kind of purchasing power. Yeah. Because I've seen that argument in my comment section. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do understand that. You know, that'd be why I know just keep them and hold on to them but forever. A che, a che. Oh, yeah, but so movies in Podrop, yeah, Oko Theater. Okay. Yeah, the two theater, no mm. Okay. You know, you for watch for theater for like two, three months mm. before you go come out everywhere, yeah. you know. Oh, mm. Excuse me. Mm. So I think this be kind of like the same approach towards it, mm. you know, and at the bar, because me too, growing up, I couldn't really afford music. Then yeah. it'd be spot SoundCloud, like, yeah, SoundCloud, then most times I they listen music for. Mm. SoundCloud, well, YouTube, yeah. then I they listen music for, you know? So I was like, yeah, now be the perfect time to put it out for everybody to listen, you mm. know? So I hope those people to now, like, you've had the opportunity to experience this project too. So then it means you, you've, 
you've gotten to the level where you don't care about charts. You don't care where your song will be on in a chart because if you really care cared about charts, you would have released it on these platforms. Yeah. But then it was uneven for a very long time yes. before you brought even when you brought it, it topped the chart and things. Yes. But it means you are not paying atten attention to, you know, the numbers and everything. You just want to create content for your dedicated and core fans. Yes, and that is exactly. the, that is like the kind of uh, uh, um, space you do right yes, now. Yes, exactly. Mm. I'm, I'm making music for the fans, okay. you know. Yeah, it'd be for them. And as, like, I want to grow as well with the music, you okay. know. Like, it'd be, for every business, like, you want to make people everywhere be able to, you know, like interact with your business. So yeah. that also be at the back of my mind. That'd be why now, like I put them out there, but mm. I'm more dedicated towards the people, like who they show love and be ready to interact with we, you know? Now you said you are flipping your words into enterprise, right? Yeah. Now, so it means right now you are taking much interest or you are showing much interest in the business side of the product that you create which is the music yeah. and this is something that a lot of the artists they've not paid attention to i sat down recently with koju q and he said it is about time our artists pay attention to this side that you are exploring yeah how to even um create content and distribute it like business to consumer kind of distribution where you are direct with your audience is that the space you do right now where you are paying attention to you know the nearest future what can I, you know, boast of as an artist? What have what have I been able to, you know, get from all these things that I've yes, created? Yes. Is that a space you do? Yeah, right I mean, um, right now, like I'm in a space of like building. You know, I just create my own company, okay, CC, which be like a music company where I just dropped this project to, like okay. through, okay. in partnership with TME Music. TME Music, yeah. Yeah. So, um, moving forward, that's something I'm more interested in doing. You know, like mm. this collab, like more interesting partnerships with other okay. bigger brands and other great companies we I'm um, like I gravitate towards mm. you know so yeah moving forward that's something I want to do and I think yeah like learning about the business to be very important so okay. yeah I still did learn about them like as the day goes by. did you sometimes sit back and regret that you didn't take some part of your craft seriously and it affected you till today and it's something that you have you know gotten to learn lessons from Oh, most most definitely, most definitely. But yeah, like you live and you learn. Okay, you know. All yeah. right. Now let's talk about growth, and this is something that I have had to battle people on my platform every day. We want shirtless Kwesiata, Gary Sokins eating Kwesiata, um, grind day Kwesiata, rapping Kwesiata, and sometimes I feel like the audience, music consumers, they don't allow for growth. Right? You are evolving. You are experiencing things. You, those days you used to eat guy. Right now, your taste bars are evolving. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, so obviously, you are not going to be shirtless and eating Gary Sokins. You have the audience too in the back end saying that, no, this is not the Kwesiata that we grew up listening to. This is not the Kwesiata that we bought, you know, his album on Spotify or what. How do you balance this? And how do you, you know, find ways and means to make sure say, there is a balance where what does these people are saying? Or how do you even put yeah. yourself in a position where some of these things don't affect your creative journey that you are on right yeah. now? Because people do listen to some of these backlashes and they go back to wherever they want or they just don't do anything because yeah. they are afraid to explore. Yeah. This is something that people have been, you know, hammering towards your side. Like, yeah. we want this, we want that. You are growing. Yeah. How do you deal with some of these things? Um, well, first of all, like, every time, most times that they approach music, yeah. I approach it from, like, the heart, mm. you know? Like, speaking about things that, like, they come from my heart, yeah. you know? And, like, connecting through the heart. So, I think that is, like a consistent exponent like for my music inside and yeah. it will always be like that you know and of course i'm not who i used to be like a couple of years ago yeah. you know there's growth uh um i know they chop gary like then i they do well, when, when you crab yeah. say yeah i know they walk like i know they walk like an hour or two hours yeah. to go but to you buy indomie from the woman oh i chop some chair oh, okay but yeah uh, if i try them sick of our you know, like I'm not where I used to be now. Oh, okay, okay. You know, okay. yeah, but I still, oh, I still the chop in the middle. Okay, things. okay. Yeah, me, I mean, to me, a uh, chef in the app. Oh, to me, chef. Oh, yeah. bro. Okay, what are you doing? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no. Yeah, so I can't, I can't be who I was back then. You yeah. know, I'm going through new experiences. Yeah. And as I go on out, I'm um, bent towards ex like sharing these new experiences too. Mm. But, but yeah, like, 
my spirit is still be the same. You know, yeah. the soul still be the same. But the audience, they do not understand this yeah. this path, this journey that you are on. And sometimes, do you not feel conflicted? As in, like you are not certain about what actually you want to. Because at some, there are some artists that would enter this space. They will try to explore or take the risk. They see the backlash and dip. Yeah, you you. I mean, the, the the even thing that you did made me understand that you actually, right now you are in a space where it's about the crap that you are putting out, your crap that you are putting out. You are you cared about the content that you are putting out there, yeah. and you are supposed to do what makes you happy, and that is the part yes. that you are on. Yeah. In this situation, that the audience, people who claim to be Kwesiata fans, coming for you, like we want you to do this today. This is the specific thing that we want, and you two are on a different path. How do you you know reconcile everything? Um, I think. I, I've always been versatile. Like, I've always been someone who explores and, like, just moves on my own accord. I try mm. not to be, like, influenced by what they go on as much, okay. you know, though I'm inspired by it. Mm. And, yeah, I'll still, I'll still be that person. I think people who have followed me from the start, like, know about that, yeah. you know, and, like, how I defeat just, like, bounce, bounce, like, and, like, just bend genres, okay. you know. Yeah, so the people who follow me know about that. Okay. And yeah, I still I still they speak from their heart. That is spit so intense, you mm. know? Yeah, I dropped like this project, there's a lot of stuff on there for people who claim to be like okay. real Kwesiata fans, okay. you know? Mm. Like there's a bit of that for everybody. So you are rapping, you are still doing oh, the same old thing. I still, bro, we're still So please, your your questions have been answered You by the Soul Kings and the Shirtless. I mean, you were shirtless shooting the music yeah, video. Yes, exactly. Why do you people like him, like, without shirt? I don't understand. And yes, what the news was, this part be an SVB style. Yeah, flat, you know. But anyway, yes, so that is the... So right now, I want to understand the kind of space that you are in now, musically. Yes. Wh which path you day on right now as Kwesiata? Oh, the path is like just building, you mm -hmm. know, and like just building and like um, growing into a whole, like mm. just growing my fan base mm. here in Ghana mm. and like growing it across the continent and across the world. Mm. You know, that's the space I'm in right now. And like just establishing more structures around myself mm. so I can, you know, have a really like well-functioning machine, mm. you know, and like be able to introduce other people into it as well. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, since you, you left us to the US, I've seen you perform, uh, perform on a couple of stage or stages and people have asserted or said, say, your stage presence your stage yeah. performance it's not up to the standard they feel like sometimes you go on stage and there is no communication it's like you just hold the mic and you are rapping and i've seen videos where like the the, the video one people yeah. made you know issues out of it yeah do you think you have a problem with performance on stage i don't think so i believe i'm one of like the great performers from here in this you know, country. Yeah, bro. Like, I did perform for real. I did sing. I did rap, you know? Like, I know they mind. Okay. Like, all these other people, mm. you know? So, yeah, where my performance be something to, I did take very seriously. Like, mm. I did practice with my DJs. Like, with the go-to songs, like, over and over and over and over again. Um, In regards to that video specifically, yeah. I think the person just caught some parts where he just, like, put them out there. Mm. Yeah, for some reason. I don't... I don't know what that they were trying to achieve with that, mm. you know. And that song in part, it be kill my spirits. Like, you won't make a jump, jump around. Like, you okay. know, like how I they move on stage, the song I they perform, mm. like, the song I they perform, like, suggests how I'm supposed to perform it. Yeah. You know, and like for that type of song, like, I can't be just jumping around mm. and, you know, all over the place. Yeah, I feel performance is something I take seriously as well, so... So based on all the, do you sometimes feel like you are misunderstood? Um, I won't, I won't say misunderstood, but I would say like stuff is taken out of context sometimes, mm. you know? And like, yeah, like, cause that video specifically, like it'd be, it'd be from the wrong bit. Why the person don't take the whole thing, can't put them out, but okay. you just take that bit. Mm. They share them, they spread them. You but know? you're good. You are, you are still moving. Oh, you? bro. Like, I just dropped the project. You okay. Know? Now, um, Revolution Sound, one of yes. my favorite. That is a song you used to address, you know, some of the things happening in our society. You amplified it for, you know, some of us. Now, we've, we have been in spaces where people want celebrities. 
people of influence or people with influence to use their platform to amplify some of these things. People who don't want to do it, they have been tagged as being indifferent towards the people that consume their music. Do you subscribe to that assertion that celebrities are supposed to be voices of influence? When, like, look at what is happening in the country, when, like, there yeah. are societal issues, they are supposed to, you know, talk for the people because these are the same people consuming your art. Yes. Um, I would say, like, you can't expect everybody, you know, like, to feel that way about what's going on in the country, mm. you know. And, like, just because someone has a voice doesn't, like, has a voice doesn't mean, like, they, would, they have to jump on every conversation. What I see for Ghana ABC, like, anything will go happen, there are, like, people expect celebrities. Celebrities. Because to people have an there. opinion have about platforms. it, yes. But you don't, we, like, you don't want a celebrity, like, who doesn't actually know what's going on or is like much informed about what's going on to just come say anything and misrepresent us, yeah. you know? Mm. So people have to be mindful about that as well, mm. you know? Yeah. So people have to be calculated. Yes. Okay. But then what do you make of, I mean, the current happenings in the country? Oh, the current happenings, yeah, mm. bro. Like, I see, bro, the suffering of the nation <laughs> is too much, it's bro. Too it's much, too much bro. to comprehend. Yeah. It, but... Mm -hmm. but yeah, it'd be slow, you know, it'd be slow. What one are people for do? Bro, I, I think every every individual should just um do the best in their power to, you know, be the change they want to see as well, mm. you know. um, My grandma, me, she died at 80-something years old. Mm. And, like, every time, then I did something, like, most times, like, mm. she go talk about, like, how the country be yawa than tense, yeah. you know. And it's like... The past generations, every time somebody new will come inside. The same thing. Bro, the same thing. It yeah. gets even worse, worse over yeah. time. True. And we've given power to these same people. We we always the as a omo boy pass pass. Yeah, you you know? we we call yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. So we for be mindful and like just not try to depend on these people as much. Mm. You know? Like we've given power to people who's Kids aren't even like they know don't the even get influenced by the decisions they make, yeah. you know. Like somebody you put in position, like um the Makidis all the school for abroad or yes, the international true, school, but you true. expect um to take good decisions for your kid who they go to school for some government school, you yeah. know, like mm. that don't they make any sense. Mm. Yeah. So I would advise the Ghanaian to take power into their own hands and do what you can do for yourself and your family. You know, mm. like don't try, don't try to depend on anybody of or have expectations for these people because mm. we've expected for so long. Yeah. You know? And for how long are we gonna still be expecting? Charlie, crazy. And like still getting like get disappointed. Crazy. crazy. You know. But anyway, how how I mean, living in the U.S. How you day like? Me and Corda, I just want to yeah. since you have tasted this environment and the <laughs> what be walk me through how you day like for day. Oh, like it'd be cool. It'd mm. be cool. Yeah. It'd be, it'd cool. be cool. Yeah. Just cool? Oh, it'd be As cool. in the weather be cool or. Oh, the weather be cool. Anything that you share to know. Oh, bro, now we're in Ramy. That'd be why you really come watch yeah. you. But you, I mean, in your recent interview, you said you are married. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, invite me. Oh, like when we do the official ceremony, like I'll definitely invite. So you're you. a married man, oh, Mr. Yeah, Kwesi Arthur. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Okay, but who 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 is this beautiful lady? And oh, I'd like to keep it private. Is that the person you have been on... posting left, right, center on? Like... Oh yes, okay. yeah. But I know, like I said, in Crawford and Paddy, but you know the, the way they claim that... I'm there means that you follow, you they flat Oh, rough. I'm <laughs> flattest. Charlie, and you say. Street crazy out there, you be who? Oh, bro, like now, or, or you can't. Now you can't take that out of me. You know, okay. like I'm still, I'm like I'm that person. Mm. You know, like I'm that person. Though I've grown mm. and like have, I've had new experiences. Mm. You know, Bob. Yeah, and like, um, I feel like experiencing new things. It only makes me better as an individual. Mm. You know, Bob. It doesn't erase where I'm from. You mm. know, all the things I've been through. Mm. Yeah, it just makes me better as an individual. Yeah, and I'm but, thankful for it. Okay, but then your your you know your experience with this particular lady has it changed you? Like, are you seeing things from different perspective now? Like, because right now you are you, you are a man. Yeah, I feel. Uh, oh, Charlie, <laughs> <laughs> you are a man, Mr. Oh, Christy Arthur. I've been a man. Okay. Um, and I yeah, I'm in a healthy, supportive, okay. you know, like loving mm. relationship. Hey, now nah, your man for now, now it's over for us. How you go doing? Nah, it's over for us. 
<laughs> we are not over. getting him. Like the greatness is like only beginning. Mm. Yeah, mm. the greatness is only beginning. So everybody yeah. they need that woman for inside. That's I where. swear, bro. Hey. I swear, bro. Hey. And right now we they live in a we they live in a world right now where like we are actually desensitized so towards stuff like that you know yeah. it'd be like the powers that be they try as much as possible to destroy black families mm. you know and what i go like as me being in america what i see be say like the black family unit is so powerful that like propaganda is being pushed down our throat True. for us to like separate yeah. you know like baby mamas and sons bro that, that like conversation yeah the men are being like what's it called like the men are being the manhood of the man is being taken away from him. They are him. being put in jails and shit. Yeah, man. yeah. And like, even like, how now, like, people they talk, oh, if you be man, you know, you be broke, like, mm. I can't, I'm hungry, you know, like, yeah. all the stuff being put in our music, you yeah. know, like, it, it influence our families a lot. And it, like, it be, it be very intentional thing people are doing. Yeah. It above. And yeah, I'm happy to be in something, you know, and like be committed to something. Mm, congratulations once and again. Thank you, man. But the hair, how far? Where where the package day? Which package? The hair you cut. No oh, it's still there. We for put down for museum. We see what's Oh yeah, there. for sure, for sure. But then what? Why are they sell them too? So you they sell them. If you don't buy them, make what it, be the make auction make price? A price. Oh, any price, like any price. Whoever the you highest would take bid a thousand dollars give them. Oh, that one to be bid. So make people consider. Nobody bid. bid, so just carry it with me. Oh no. no so if you want if you want just to bid it probably me and found call a auctioning something, yeah, yeah. Oh we did. Because me I won't did. I won't get them for my <laughs> <laughs> I won't put for my day. Me, I come in comment section. Like, Why you go cut it? Me, I don't get so if I carry give me. Oh, and Koso. Oh, you go go. I just yeah. go go take it. Then. Oh, the glue bear, son. Yeah, shit. Sure. When you're brave off because child, hairline I drew how. Charlie. Anyway, but yes, um, cha beautiful conversation. But um, Christy, um, this is the uh, this is not the tape. Sorry, um, Three. Trey. How did it go? Um, are you are you? I mean, as you open them, I'm, I'm um, atop the chart. Yes. Uh, our, um, albums. Yes. Atop the chart. Are you impressed with how people are consuming it? Even though people have their different opinions yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. You know, yeah, because. People were saying, oh, like, I know they perform at the level I like I used to be, but yes. clearly, like, I drop a project and I just hours later, I go number one. Yeah. You know, that'd be crazy. So yeah. um, I think it tells uh, it tells me and the people a lot about, like, my fans' interaction yeah. and how people, they gravitate towards the music. And, yeah, it'd be my desire to keep making music and keep putting stuff out. And I'm thankful so much, see, the people still, they support what we do. Do yeah. you have a, do you have a team now? Like, I know you have, you have had issues with your couple of people, but then do you have, like, an established team? Yes, I have, like, solid people I'm working with right okay. now. You what know? is your relationship with TME music like? Is it um, a partnership so, or distribution? So, the TME Music is distributing this project, okay. you know? Um, Just this project? Yeah, this okay. project. So, them see... See, like, how I put it on the artist, the con consumer platform. Yeah. And the CEO reached out to me. We had a really good conversation. Okay. And, yeah, I've seen what they are doing in the Ghana music space. And I'd be like, yo, these be people we I go feel work with. Okay. So that's how come we collaborated and made this project a reality. And, like, now have it on all platforms. Mm. Yes. All right. So subsequently, what are we to expect from the camp of Kwesiata? Because I know right now you are going to be consistent with releases, right? Yeah. Are you going? Are hopefully, you, yeah. That that be what we look at. Hopefully, they, they, they say. Oh no! Like, say. But do you are do you are you going to admit that you starve your fan base for some time? Oh yes, I would admit to that. Okay. Though I've been dropping like every once in a while, you know that be why this. Project we just I should have pack them, okay. you know, cause usually it be just four at three. most four songs, yeah, yeah. But now I put nine solid songs on there, mm. you know. We we have more other projects on the way, but yeah, this one be the main focus. So, so after this, what are we to expect? Oh, definitely more music, mm. you know, more music, more music. Yeah, but from the look of things, it doesn't look like you're going to be in Ghana for some time now. Like for some time, sorry. Oh, but, I, you know, I still be Ghanaian at, at heart. I know the who said it here. I go, go, oh, I go, go. Like, I they move around. Okay. You know, I they move around. Okay. You know, yeah. Moving around, around, no music, I'm moving to Ghana. Oh, I did Ghana. You know, this be where my, this Ghana be my home. Okay. They feel me. Right. Yeah, but the nature of the job, they make man, they travel, travel around. Mm. Are know, we right? looking at tours or? Oh, or definitely. Like Okay. Definitely. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the conversation with Kwesiata. He came through for me. 
I always go appreciate. He has also promised to perform at my wedding. Yes. He thinks I've forgotten. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I remember so. Yeah, I remember so. But yes, thanks for coming and we appreciate your mm. time. Thank you for having me. Doing. Charlie yeah. Sheldon, mm. really they go hard for me and I want to say this right here. I do appreciate you, man. Thank Ooh, you. Yeah, for okay. <laughs> okay. I also send him a moment. Oh, no, right yeah. Here. no yeah, yeah. Thank you so much yeah. and I appreciate you and the yeah. support. And thank you to Everyone out there who's been supporting me, mm. you know, we I don't know about, but thank you so much. And I appreciate you guys too. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful conversation. We will see you uh, on the other side of the We paradise, but paradise is not the one who we have been now. Thanks for watching and stream. This is not the tape today on all yes. streaming platforms. It's everywhere now. The BRB, as, yeah. as he promised, it's everywhere. Just go run the numbers. We'll do the reactions to it and we'll put it out there. Uh, we out.